All right, we have whiteout conditions in uh, parts of the state right now, and one of those locations is Hartford. Hartford is getting slammed right now. A little while ago, we could see the highway. Now we can't. Part of this is zero visibility, and perhaps even the uh, snow kind of gumming up the uh, camera in Hartford. But treacherous weather conditions in Hartford right now. Meanwhile, New Haven had whiteout conditions a little while ago, but the worst of the squall has moved to the east of you. There's our ICAM in Middletown where it's snowing, but the worst is going to happen within the next couple of minutes as the squall moves your way. And in Torrington, uh, weather conditions have improved greatly over the last half hour as the uh, biggest part of the snow squall has moved on through New London. You're okay right now, but uh, well, probably within the next uh, half an hour to 45 minutes, conditions are rapidly going to change. There you can see the whole I-91 corridor is getting impacted by this uh, snow squall. And this is moving to the east at 45 miles an hour. Look how fast that is moving at the uh, moment. So Hartford, you're right in the thick of the snow squall. We're going to have uh, very intense weather conditions for probably the next 10 minutes before weather conditions improve. And as I said, the entire I-91 corridor, we're talking about Berlin, Cromwell, Middletown, uh, Middlefield, Durham, Wallingford, all getting impacted by this. North Brantford, too. And you can see that the worst has shifted to the east of New Haven. But it's going to be uh, become very treacherous in places like Killingworth, Clinton, Guilford, Chester, and Deep Water over the coming minutes. So we have a snow squall warning in effect for Hartford County and a good portion of Tallinn County as well. Also, uh, eastern portions of New Haven County, all of Middlesex County, and now a good portion of New London County, all under a snow squall warning as that whole line is moving to the east at 45 miles an hour. So everybody is going to be impacted by these squalls, some towns more so, some towns not as bad, but this is going to create treacherous driving conditions and already is. A wind advisory is also in effect for the entire state through this evening and a wind chill advisory for most of the state, but a wind chill warning for Litchfield County. Temperatures right now already in the teens in western Connecticut, so there's going to be icing up right away with a layer of snowing on top, creating dangerous driving conditions and walking conditions too. And where it's in the low 30s right now in Norwich and New, uh, London and Groton, it's not going to last very long. We are getting gusty winds now with these squalls moving through. We're going to see gusts to as high as 50 miles an hour. And already the wind chill has dropped below zero in places like Salisbury. So we're going to see a rapid drop in temperatures over the coming hours. And you can see off to our west, all this Arctic air is moving in. Buffalo is already down to zero and off to our west. The wind chill in Buffalo is 25 below zero. So you can see that the uh, front is moving through right now and it's going to be uh, gone pretty much by seven o'clock this evening and tomorrow morning. We're in the clear, but we're going to be dealing with nasty wind chills. Lows tonight range anywhere from six below to five above Hartford around zero and your highs for tomorrow. Single digits in the hills and the low and middle teens across much of the state. And of course, the wind chill diving below zero already at seven o'clock this evening, 10 to 20 below at midnight. And for your morning commute, we're talking about 10 to 20, maybe even 25 below zero wind chills. All right, your seven day forecast Friday. We start to climb a little bit higher into the 20s and over the weekend. Groundhog Day, we climb above freezing. On Sunday, we get up to 40 and it's going to be a storm free weekend. 48 on Monday and look at that 50s on Tuesday with a chance for some rain in the morning for the shoreline tomorrow, a high of only 17. But over the next uh, couple of days, temperatures will be on the rise. So the good news is this blast of Arctic air is not going to last all that long. Well, that is good.